What's up guys, this is Chani again and welcome to my channel and in this video you guys we're going to review this laptop. This is the Dell G15 5530 and this laptop is the most cost effective laptop, the most cheapest I've seen so far with the 13th generation Intel CPU and the 4th generation of RTX GPU. This also comes with 16GB of DDR5 RAM and 512GB of SSD. That is that specs is massive and look at this this laptop is also massive and very heavy so this comes with a very basic Dell box I'll show you the box guys so yeah this is the box not very fancy <laughs> look the box is just a box of just Amazon box and let's do first the physical pictures or the physical features of this laptop on the left side of the laptop we have here an exhaust a LAN port and uh, 3.5 audio jack there's nothing here we can see in the front it's just nothing but on the other side of the laptop we have here another X host and two USB a port and on the bottom and I mean in the back we have here look at the bottom guys so the bottom we have here I mean the back we have here two massive exhaust in here and the exhaust rods are colored in orange which make this thing very cool and also we have here another USB A and HDMI and USB C which is uh, 3.2 USB C which is the latest also we have here the power uh, 330 watt power power um, charger dock thing and also come, this thing guys comes with a very massive charger which we will discuss in a bit later well we can discuss it now so look at this guys look at this it's about the size of my face this is the massive 330 watt smart charger this is also a fast charger you can charge this laptop in, very, in a very quick way from zero to 100 percent in a, an hour less than an hour which is very fantastic we can also charge this laptop guys with the USB-C but it's not very quick it only comes with this charger and I'm, I'm loving it so far so that's it yeah, I'm, I'm just very amazed with the with the exhaust of this laptop guys so yeah this laptop here it has got a 15 inch screen so this screen has got a 165 refresh rate which is very ideal for gaming high refresh rate with 100% sRGB color space so this is also ideal for uh, video editors photo editors because of the screen but the screen is designed in matte not in a very shiny stuff so for me I really liked it this is what I want we also have um, a keyboard a full-size keyboard with very a very small uh, numpad keys but even though that this laptop has a full size, it is compact. So it is fully compact according to the size of the laptop. So it's not the same as the feel of a really full size keyboard because a full size keyboard is very comfortable to type in. If you're gaming on this uh, keyboard, it's not very fantastic. It's not very easy to navigate stuff like shift, control shift number two, control shift F1, control shift escape. It's not that easy to reach because of these tiny spaces in here. It's very compact. So that's it. This keyboard has also LED light, which is white, but the lights, the lightings of this keyboard is only got two settings, the mid and the high. So at this moment, so yeah, that's, that is the low and this is the high, this is the brightest guys. You can really appreciate it during bright environment, but um, during the dark, you can really appreciate this thing. So the trackpad is, is not, the, the trackpad of this laptop is not that special.
not very special just a regular track pad the track pad of my rog zephyrus g15 is better than this track pad but it is acceptable i don't really game or use the track pad very often if you can see in my previous video the track pad of my, of my old laptop is still like brand new because it's not really been used i most likely use a mouse in doing my stuff like all the time i rather use a cheap mouse rather than uh, using a trackpad because trackpad is just very annoying to use like most of the time so the, as what i said earlier um, the charger of this laptop is 330 watts and it's very heavy the charger itself has around 1.5 kilograms and it's not very heavy for a charger so this thing is also around 2.5 kilograms or 2.5 2.8 so in total it's around four kilograms in total so if you want to travel with this thing you're about to carry like four kilograms of things so i think this laptop is really designed for the for home use a powerful laptop but this is still cheaper than uh, than assembled gaming pc with a uh, very powerful specs so yeah the battery capacity of this thing is also 84 watt hour which can make this laptop last for two hours for gaming but it's not ideal to game with in power mode because it drops the performance it's like it, this laptop cannot reach its turbo mode in the cpu if it is on uh, power if it is in battery and the fan doesn't run as well if it is in battery mode so this thing really must be plugged in so yeah that's it maybe that's the reason why it's very heavy and I like this thing about this, the protruding, the protruding thing in the back in there. As so you can see in there, it's, it's got a massive blower. So it is a bit protruding in there. And here in the front, we also have here uh, a small spaces for, for the speaker and for a bit of cooling. But um, it's not really, most likely I can feel the air, the air, the hot air going out from this side and from the back of course in here and it's also very quiet case because of this massive uh, blower we also have here the old show or speakers and the camera so the speaker of this laptop guys is never fantastic well it does it is balanced in low and moderate volume but if you increase the volume to the maximum level it's not very fantastic i'm gonna score it around seven out of ten or six out of ten <laughs> And in the camera, we have here a 720p camera. Hello, testing, testing, sound testing. This is the sound testing and camera testing for the camera of this laptop. This is the Dell Latitude. No, this is a Dell G15. And uh, it has a very decent camera. I really like this camera so far. Uh, so what you can see in here, the audio is fantastic and the quality here of the camera is also fantastic it's not really hd but uh this is all this is a gaming pc most gaming pc guys doesn't have fantastic camera so the camera of this thing is subordinate to the surface pro 5 so the surface pro 5 has got a hd camera also have uh, done some gaming and benchmark tests on this computer i did a format test to stress this laptop so i did a gpu test it's only hd test guys with a base and average uh, frame rate of 126 fps but um cannot test 4k testing for gpu on this laptop because i don't have a 4k monitor and i also have tried to stress the, the cpu of this laptop with with the former and i did stress the lap, laptop plugged in and a laptop on battery mode and of course what i said earlier this laptop doesn't run on its full potential on battery mode this laptop cannot run up to 4.6 on battery mode the maximum uh, clock speed of this laptop on battery mode is just 3.5 to 3.6 but if you put this on battery it can run up to 4.6 so it's turbo mode i also did some gaming on this laptop guys with apex legends and pubg i did a uh, low setting and high setting guys for apex legends because apex legends is more more complex or more demanding compared to pubg and in low setting guys the apex legends can run this laptop can run uh, uh, 160 fps and low 
in low quality or in lowest setting or low setting not really lowest but an acceptable setting 160 fps and on the highest setting and higher resolution this laptop can run up to 100 fps on high resolution of the highest resolution of the game so in conclusion guys this laptop guys is really acceptable it's really fantastic for gaming for video editing if you're a creator if you're gaming if you want to game at home if you're going to travel for gaming this laptop is for you so far i didn't have it, any problems with this laptop guys and this laptop guys if you compare it to this to other laptops with the same specs this laptop guys is very cost effective and it's very cheap and and if you're interested with this product guys i'll put a link in the description of this video and that's more like it of the review of this laptop guys so yeah, I hope you like this video guys. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.